Hello dear friends today we are going to talk about our influence on the universe, sit back and we will begin. Imagine that the universe depends on your existence. The traditional Newtonian worldview, which emphasizes separate entities, assumes that humans exist in a physical world governed by laws such as gravity and thermodynamics. These laws describe physical reality as something separate from humans, existing autonomously. However, with the advent of quantum physics, this perspective has been challenged. While this shift in scientific discourse is relatively new, it echoes the ancient spiritual teachings of Hermes Trismegistus. This sage from antiquity taught, as above, so below as below, so above. This statement implies that our world is like a holographic matrix in which the surface reflects the consciousness cast upon it. Quantum physics supports this ancient wisdom by suggesting that reality is not a separate construct, but is shaped by the consciousness of the observer. In this area of thought, quantum physics considers the concept of a multiverse and infinite timelines. Your perception can greatly influence the manifestation of reality. Neville Goddard, in his work Fourth Dimensional Thinking, states that the fourth dimension serves as the source for our three-dimensional existence, which contains an infinite number of life possibilities similar to infinite world lines. Like a dispenser, drive. Joe Dispenza emphasizes that within the realm of quantum physics, there is an infinite field filled with potential outcomes for our lives. This infinite quantum field resonates with the ancient teachings of Hermes Trismegistus, as described in the Kybalion. It is a field where every possible life outcome already exists. This approach leads to a key question, what dictates the particular timeline we experience? Neville Goddard piously argues that in order to attract the desired reality, you need to feel that your desire has already been fulfilled and watch your attention follow that feeling. In this context, time, limited by our three-dimensional reality, is irrelevant. Dr. Joe Dispenza adds that our thoughts have a direct correlation to our immediate level of health. In these higher dimensions, everything you can potentially become is already a reality, transcending the linear limitations of time as we perceive it. You exist in this particular life within a specific timeline, but what defines this particular path among countless possibilities? This question signals the gradual decline of the traditional Newtonian paradigm. Attention to the role of the observer in shaping reality leads to the realization that our perceptions and intentions play a key role in creating our reality. We see that the world we perceive is the result of our consciousness interacting with the quantum field. Thus, every thought, every intention and every action shapes our reality in an infinite number of possible worlds. The Newtonian model gives way to a shift towards unified consciousness. The quantum field responds to the consciousness it interacts with, and is shaped by thoughts, emotions, and overall state of being. In essence, the reality or timeline you experience is a manifestation of your state of being, thoughts and emotions. Your self-image is reflected to the universe just as a mirror cannot reflect a smile unless you smile first. The universe responds in the same way, its reflection depends entirely on your state. When you smile, the mirror reflects a smiling face. Similarly, an all-encompassing entity, be it God, source, or a quantum field, replicates your inner state. This concept has been conceived by many spiritual teachings. The purpose of creation is to go through an infinitely unique experience that extends to the boundaries of infinity. The omnipresent force respects your freedom of choice, seeing it as an integral part of enjoying life's varied adventures. Neville Goddard, a proponent of this idea, argues that everyone is free to create their world as they wish it to be, as long as they know that everything is responding to them. Relying on your unique consciousness fuels the expansion of the entire universe. Your ability to choose is ever-present. As you smile into the infinite mirror, you initiate a response. Albeit with the delay inherent in our three-dimensional linear world, events must sequentially unfold to reflect change. Nevertheless, the mirror will eventually reflect what you project. In the fourth dimension, this projection is already a reality. The persistence in your self-concept commands the mirror to conform to your condition. With no evaluation of its own, the mirror ensures the authenticity of your experience. Everyone strives to understand what it means to be themselves in the present moment. This understanding would be compromised if the mirror imposed its will. The infinite willingly accepts limitations in order to authentically experience its existence. It relies on you and your current state as the focal point for its experience. In essence, you and everything are one, but in this world a veil of forgetfulness is thrown over us to create a truly authentic experience. 
Imagine voluntarily subjecting yourself to self-induced amnesia in order to play a virtual reality game in pursuit of the most authentic experiences. When you get hit, it feels real, as if the events are actually happening. However, if you realize that it's just a game, you stop fearing for your virtual life. This realization gives you the freedom to experiment and explore reality without the fear of what happens in our three-dimensional world. This reality game teaches us that our thoughts and emotions directly affect our experience. Unified consciousness and the quantum field create a world where each of us is the creator of our own reality. We exist in a world of infinite possibilities, and our choices shape the timeline we experience. Therefore, by recognizing the power of our thoughts and emotions, we can direct our lives in the direction we desire. The Newtonian model emphasizing separate entities and physical laws is giving way to this new paradigm. In it, humans are not passive observers but active participants in shaping reality. We cease to be objects in the mechanistic universe and become co-creators in the dynamic quantum field. Thus, the transition to the understanding of unified consciousness and the quantum field opens new horizons for us. We realize that reality is a reflection of our inner state and begin to use this power to create the life we really want to live. When you know that your true self remains unchanged, life becomes more manageable. This analogy helps explain why life sometimes seems harsh and unforgiving, causing us to wonder how God allows such suffering. The answer lies in realizing that God is not an external entity imposing these experiences on us. Instead, we shape our own experiences through the application of the law of being, often not in the best way. Our actions in front of the mirror of life directly affect what it reflects. If we behave negatively, the mirror cannot simultaneously portray us as successful and content. It simply reflects the essence of our actions and condition. The desire for freedom is often confronted with a sense of being constrained by circumstances. This struggle can be a catalyst for a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world. Influenced by the teachings of Neville Goddard and similar thinkers, one may come to realize that obstacles and trials in life may not be solely the result of an external selectively benevolent deity. Rather, they are a reflection of one's inner state and consciousness. The mirror metaphor is particularly appropriate in this context. The image one sees in the mirror is a direct result of what is presented in front of it. If one stands before the mirror with a mindset of entrapment and limitation, the reflection will present a scene of stagnation and stagnation. However, a change of perspective that embraces the concepts of freedom and limitless possibilities can dramatically change that reflection. The world begins to reveal opportunities and joys that previously seemed invisible. This transformation is reminiscent of the narrative in Russell Conwell's novel Acres of Diamonds, where a man overlooks the riches in his own land, chasing fortune elsewhere, only to discover that what he sought was always within his reach. This dynamic is beautifully expressed in the empowering words of William Ernest Henley in his poem Invictus, I am the master of my fate, I am the captain of my soul. These lines eloquently express the profound influence of individual will and perception in shaping the path of life. When one consciously adopts an attitude of abundance and self-realization, a subtle but powerful alignment in the universe or quantum field occurs before it manifests in reality. When consciousness shifts, external circumstances also shift. Moreover, this concept goes beyond mere positive thinking. It is an exploration of the deeper layers of being and the power of the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind, like fertile soil, takes the seeds of thoughts planted in it and nurtures them. It is the central principle of many spiritual and philosophical teachings, according to which external reality is a direct reflection of inner thoughts, beliefs and emotions. Thus, the external world serves not only as a mirror reflecting the current state of being, but also as a canvas on which the possibilities of what could be are constantly being painted. These possibilities are drawn from the inner dialogue and beliefs that are present in all aspects of our existence. The deep interconnectedness between the inner and outer worlds requires us to understand and restructure our inner world in order to realize our desires, be it freedom, joy, or self-actualization. To realize one's desires, one must go inward to understand and restructure one's inner world. This may seem difficult at first, but this process allows us to realize our true power and influence on the world around us. We begin to see that our reality is not predetermined by external circumstances, but is shaped by our thoughts, beliefs and emotional state. This understanding empowers us to actively participate in creating our lives by channeling our thoughts and emotions in a positive way. We become creators of our reality by realizing that everything we experience is a reflection of our inner state. 
This realization frees us from being a victim of circumstances and allows us to take responsibility for our lives. Moving from seeing ourselves as a separate entity to understanding our connection to the unified consciousness and the quantum field opens new horizons for us. We begin to see that our life is the result of interaction of our consciousness with the quantum field. Every thought and every action matters, shaping our reality. Thus, knowing and applying these principles allows us to live more consciously and purposefully. We begin to realize that we can create the life we truly want by channeling our thoughts and emotions in a positive way. This process requires constant self-awareness and discipline, but it empowers us to realize our potential and live a life of joy, freedom, and fulfillment.